Hey everyone, uh, this is a quick update on my current project in school. So this is a um, bioimpedance analyzer bore prototype that I'm working on right now. So I'm just uh, about to be done with the power supply section. So I have a plus or minus uh, 12 volt output for the active components. Um, and I have over here is the uh, 5 volt supply for um, digital and other stuff. Here I have my 3.6 volt for the uh, TI um, um, M4 Cortex uh, microcontroller. And here I have my 5 volt reference. Um, there are some interesting uh, uh, problems that I encountered during this um, assembly stage. Uh, first of all is the, the footprint of the uh, 12 volt regulator is um, kind of different from the footprint from the negative supply. The uh, funny thing is like they come from the same uh, company in the same package uh, on semiconductors and the DPAC3 uh, package and basically for negative is uh, the input and references the opposite of the positive supply which now had to make do a mix shift with like a tombstone configuration here to make it work but it does work I think um, that's the best I can do for now until the next version the next thing that I uh, figure out or uh, yeah I need uh, initially I had my output capacitor for my uh, voltage uh, regulators over here is uh, uh, the output caps need to be a certain size for it to be stable and one of them was not enough uh, large enough so I had to change that to uh, from 1 micro to 4.7 microfarad and that seems to stabilize everything uh, in terms uh, of stabilize what I mean is that the output instead of 3.6 or close to that it will be like 3.8 or something so yeah that is very um, that's a sure indicator that you need to uh, look at the day sheet for the example application circuit and um, and uh, okay over here is my uh, really nice reference uh, TI reference 5050 uh, I've tried um, adding a bypass uh, this is like the dedicated bypass capacitor uh, position but the downside is that you have a longer time uh, time constant for startup so I kinda took it off for a better respond time um, yeah um, so and uh, okay I yeah these are the uh, two LED indicators that I put for the positive rail and negative rail and you notice that I have an option so I can actually actually I haven't explained the battery part but I have a total of four um, lithium uh, ion polymer batteries packs over there basically have uh, 7.4 uh, volts second series so I have a plus or minus 14.7 volts uh, approximately and then I basically feed in right here and I regulate the voltage out into um, plus minus 12 and all the other um, voltages that follows. Um, I have an option where I can actually switch uh, to the uh, raw battery voltage instead of, uh, of the regulated but that's uh, potentially an issue with drift over time and um, it's not fun. All right. So I'm kind of excited of uh, the next stage, which is uh, messing around with the DAC um, analog circuit. Uh, so far, I just want to focus on the analog circuits because I can pretty much um, do that uh, quickly. And then the final stage would be, of course, um, do the uh, digital part, the coding part, which is going to take a while since I'm a little rusty on that. But yeah, let me show you the rest of the board. I have a pressure sensor channel. Um, I have two um, thermocouple channels. Um, so, like I said, here's a DAC, um, and then the DAC feeds into um, 
the output here and go into the load and then you got the sensing region here which um, includes uh, INAs, different INAs I'm going to use or try out, see which one is the best. I have some really nice INAs such as the AD8421 um, the uh, military grade version which is very cool. I actually get samples from uh, analog devices and they're very prompt on that and the next uh, the uh, these stages are filtering stages uh, basically a second order low pass filters and such so, um, yeah chef chef filters um, yeah and uh, EKG course if you do by America um, and then uh, they have an RC uh, RC test bank here where you can calibrate uh, on board well, um, ideally, I don't want to do a uh, relay system, but right now it's just uh, plug and play. All right, I'm just going to end this video. It's getting long. Um, post any comments or questions you have. Um, thanks for watching.